Well, this is about four o'clock in the afternoon uh, in Patea, Thailand. I'm just leaving my home. I won't give the exact location, but I'm taking a walk down to Big C. So let's do a little turnaround. And adjust the camera a bit. As you can see, a bit of adjusting and I'm hoping it picks up my voice. This is the soy I lived in and these are the surrounding houses. Got a few for rent but as you can see they are very big. My home is not this big but uh, it's bordering on big. Uh, about twice the size of my home back in the UK if not bigger. The sun is shining, it's about 32, 33 degrees. I haven't got my mask on at the moment, as you can see, but I will put it on when we get towards the end of the road. These are the houses. Some are small and some are big. Look at the road to me, you know what he's doing, he's just stationary. Um, this is not center of the bear, this is outside, not outside, it's a place called Papier Klang and it's the turning off. I'm about 10 minutes walk from the big sea at Papier Klang, for those people that know where that is. I'm just taking a relatively slow walk as I said earlier. There's a house over there belonging to uh, a neighbour and although I can't go inside I can actually show as I approach it. It's got its own swimming pool and if I can just get behind the bar just to see the swimming pool. We've been offered the facility as a neighbour just to use it as and when. To the left of me are smaller houses and one I could probably afford to buy without selling my home back in the UK. The house I'd really love to buy is this one which is quite, not derelict, but quite run down but lovely size, lovely size. People put their washing outside and that's from opposite. Anyway, I'm coming to the end of the end of the street. I, I'll stop the camera for a short while and probably put back on when I'm at Big C uh, and obviously put my mask on at the moment. It's a Buddhist temple but it's Chinese, they call Chinese lanterns. And you see, people are still wearing their masks more in the suburbs than in the town. If you run out of petrol for 40 bar, sorry, 20 bar, you can go 40 pence and get a little bit of oil at petrol. So, as I said, I will stop for a while. Right, I've put my camera on. I'm at Big C, which is a big supermarket, a bit like Tesco's hypermarkets back, back in the UK. Uh, I'm in the car park area, it's quiet-ish. I wouldn't say absolutely dead, but uh, there are a few cars as you can see. Uh, it might go a bit dark as I approach the side door. Uh, a bit lazy today, but it, it is literally 10 minute walk. Those that have been to my house know the distance. Which the reason why we didn't because it's now what we call the rainy season. And any time the rain could start. Right. Slowly walk up the car park. 
I may have to t turn the camera off as I go into Big C uh, because a lot of people or most people don't like don't like their pictures or video taken I'm not using the microphone I'm using the GoPro 10 camera standalone and let's go up some steps as soon as we go in there on the right is uh, the food hall where you can first 200 baht or 5 pound you buy a ticket and you go into the food hall uh, here over here there's they've got monitors test the temperature on 36.7 and you can see in Big Sea they have everything you need and I'd actually come uh, to Cafe Amazon and I think I might have a copy in there but well, it'd be nice thing you want coffee? you want stay there? Uh, that's you oh. yeah what did you Come look at some of these. No, oh, they've got some crystals, earrings, earrings, and um, ruby. A friend of mine said that ruby is quite expensive. But if you look at them balls down there, 8,500, about 150 pounds. So, yes, it is a bit expensive. Anyway, let's move on. Got Mr. Donut over there. And funny enough, I've done a video. I haven't made it live yet of the donut shop in a place called Tukon, which is in South Patea, Patea Thai. I see it is quiet, but normally when we come about lunchtime, it'll be ten times the amount of people. And it is song grand that people are a bit concerned about going out and about uh, in case they get either rain or traditionally water poured on them but this year the government has decided not to allow too much water uh, because of the spread of the pandemic or I can't say the actual words because YouTube or the lights might take, take it down so at the moment you got KFC I've had a sandwich for lunch so I won't be going there your friends. Yeah. To the right of me, you've got massage chairs. Absolutely brilliant. About 20 pence. Uh, yeah, 20 pence in this money. You get your legs, your back, your head, and your neck massaged. All mechanically, of course. If you want the real thing, it'll cost you about four or five pounds or more. So, uh, Swenson's is an ice cream place. Next to it is Subway. And this is all downstairs before upstairs you've got a massive market where you can buy all types of food. You got Watson's, the book centre, uh, cake, cake, cake shop. So as you see, you know, I'm not doing any of the seas of the is over here because it's not worth it there's enough vloggers out there doing that so i just thought you i thought i'd show you what i call normality and you are for 180 you can have a push your head his head battered or whatever right there's the stairs to go upstairs which i'll probably do with uh, another date but at the moment We've got a wine shop next to me, ice cream shop there, and the same shop. Let's switch off for a while and see what we're doing. Right, as I said, I'm in Big C. No microphone, just relying on the GoPro 10. What you do downstairs, if you want to eat, you come to this counter, you give them some money, and they actually give you a card which you can then spend on most of the food stuff 
How can you? I've eaten lunch. I only want a Coke, uh, medium please, yeah. yeah. So, and you see you've got Coke, all the cold stuff, cold that day. Yeah, yeah, medium. So you see 18 bar, 22 bar and 28 bar. 22 bar I've gone for, it's about 50 pence. I'm gonna look down for some food stuff. Most of them are closed this time of the day, which is four plus. And as you can see, noodles and pork sausage, 70 bar, which is about one pound forty. Tom Young noodle soup is two forty, 65 to 75 bar. These are not real chicken. They're not real chicken. They're plastic made to look but they look good enough I know meat here and the one I know meat is which is a two in one chicken rice 60 bar by 120 as I say I'm just walking down looking at food stuff I don't need to eat but as you see Thai food generally I just look at the food stuff. Oh, we have the omelette we send on with that. Stew pork feet, rice and duck eggs, 65 bar. Oh, they do pork leg and pork feet here. Yeah? And as you see, that's some of the, what I call the dummy made up food stuff. We got Yaki, whatever that is. Fried rice, noodle rice. Number eight. Mm. Yeah, bet, bet. Number eight. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, bet is eight. Oh. Yeah, number eight. Number eight. Yeah, it's got I just saw a damsel in distress. I thought she was Thai, but she didn't speak Thai. She was trying to say number eight. It's number eight in Thai is a different word. But as you can see, the food stuff is fantastic. Especially if you're Thai. I want to explain it. We've got a children's play area, which I won't go over to see, but uh, there are a few people around. That's it. Okay, a slow stroll back up. It used to be very, very busy. You know what happened to it lately? When I say busy, there was a lot more stalls, uh, food stalls open. And there's one over there which is closed now. I used to be lovely for chicken nuggets and chips. Right, let's sit down on my coat and I'll probably have an ice cream later. Upstairs in Big C, you've got quite a few places where they sell hot coffee, cold coffee. Uh, behind me, I'll just swing now, you've got two AIS, and that's the actual shop, shopping for food, clothes, and other materials. For the moment, I'm not going inside there, but I just thought I'd show you on the outside. And the normality of what I call Patea in Thailand. Once again, as you can see, I'm not interested in doing any of the sea side of it because there's plenty of robbers doing that. So I'll just show you how you can live over here as much as you can live in the UK. I have noticed things are going up in price, which I assume in the UK they are as well. So. There are plenty of shops, you have the banks, three or four banks actually down there. The nail, nail parlor, they do nail, Botox, uh, facial things. And as you can see, we're now going downstairs on the elevator. 
come out dressed for some reason, but I think I was trying to get the camera out of my pocket. Still sunny outside, no clouds because it looks like it could be rain at any time. And going back downstairs where it started from, we've got a few cold shots. They're only small, but um, they're durable. We've got a cake shop there. I can't see any, but my friend likes the cream horns there. And next to it is an ice cream shop. I always buy an ice cream in the cornet for 10 bar. And you see the workers eat, eating and enjoying their homes. They're concentrating on you know, being bothered with customers. It does make you think. Anyway, I try to avoid the screaming of kids at the their time. Talking a bit fast to get out the face and get away. Alright, the exchange rate today is the middle of April 2022, and for the English, uh, you get. 43 and a half bar to the pound if you're Australian the 24.50 Japan 02640 and America is 33 bar just looking down the list not sure if you can actually see it because I'm against the screen, it might be flickering. So, there you go. That's it for today's vlog. And hope to catch you all soon. You speak English? No. <laughs> oh, don't speak English, but I'm just looking. Oh, it's often. Yeah, Products. keeps running. Ah, oh, right. From San Haburi Products. Yeah. So chai. SIV, have SIV, no have family. Ah, right, right. Yes, no have family. They, they're orphans. Yeah. yeah. In English, we call that orphans, yeah? That's you, yeah? From Chantaburi. Oh. Chantaburi. Chantaburi. Where? Chantaburi. Oh, Chantaburi, yeah. Ah, oh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> that's a lady boy trying to charm himself or herself with me yeah she's active <laughs> she's laughing but there we go uh, the other one's shy yeah she's shy all right bye. okay bye bye <laughs> anyway uh, i was gonna say good <laughs> i was gonna say that's it for the day but i couldn't resist that that's a lady boy uh with a mask on and trying to get money for children's orphanage 